of the discourse. We've taken an abandoned concrete factory at the margins of the declining American empire and repurposed it into a battleground where 19 separate entities from across the political spectrum enter the discourse one by one and do battle to determine who controls the narrative force of the discourse. I hope you'll join me, your Southern Gothic futurist host, Dirt God Raven Mac, for each and every episode of Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. Hey ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? This Dirt God Raven Mac. We are here in week four of our seven-week series, Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse Fall 2022. Again, this is a seven-week series. We'll have six weeks where 27 people are competing, accumulating points. You get a point for eliminating an opponent. There are bonus points for those top four. And over the first six weeks, people accumulate points. And then in that seventh week, which we're a couple weeks away from, um, the top 27 point getters during this initial six-week period will come back and they will compete in the order they'll come out uh, whoever has the most points will come out last so it, it will be crowning a champion of the discourse uh for fall 2022 here in about three weeks we're in week four right now and happy halloween folks all hallows eve sam hain whatever you like to call um this is we, we are here tonight um well here's our standings after three events you can see um john fetterman is at the top of the board right now 17 points josh hawley who won last week is in second you got biden and trump and a bunch of other folks in there too tonight we're going to go to the ring now let's take it up to the ring tonight is actually in honor of halloween we are having a Monsters of the Discourse Rumble of the Discourse So we are going to see um, Monsters of the Discourse is what I've been told And coming out first is Tucker Carlson Speaking of a Monster of the Discourse He is certainly one You cannot seem to escape this man And, and some of his talking points have been uh, I mean it's just It's interesting Not interesting It's actually disgusting to see the um, You know what you would have seen in a KKK pamphlet back in the 80s is now just on Fox News. And looky here, the woke mobster. So it looks like Tucker Carlson is going to get a chance to face a woke mobster. So the woke mob he is always complaining about is going to be facing off against Tucker Carlson. This should be interesting. He's always complaining about that woke mob. He actually gets to take that woke mob on now. And they're locking up. Carlson takes the woke mobster down. Our, our referees in there today are the lady cop and the police state. And there's a ladder in the ring already. There are seven ladders in and around the ring. They represent the meritocracy uh, myth uh, that America has been built upon. Um, and there are also um, a slew of briefcases filled with lobbyist money outside and dark dark money uh campaign money super PAC money i uh, see even more appropriate right now all the money that goes into politics and and creates the discourse woke mobster kicks out on the one count and we have a buzzer here let's see who's about to come out and it is covid19 covid19 is in the rumble of the discourse we have seen them before but not in this fall series um covid19 is not gone still out here and Tucker Carlson has the woke mobster in an arm lock right now and COVID-19 and woke mobsters coughing and COVID-19 is right there. He's, he's hovering behind them. COVID-19 just smacks the lady cop. So we just sort of have a standoff right now. Tucker Carlson working on the arm of this woke mobster and COVID-19 flexing behind them. There's an office chair in the ring for some reason. And we get a buzzer, and we are going to see Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, another creator of the discourse. In fact, recently one of the biggest things that he single-handedly created was this myth. And, uh, Tucker Carlson knocks the woke mobster, knocked Tucker Carlson over the top rope, but then he knocked the woke mobster off the top rope. And now COVID-19 and Tucker Carlson are on that ring apron. That's a dangerous spot to be in. Joe Rogan in the ring. COVID-19 comes back in. Joe Rogan, of course, said on his his podcast that um, pretend intellectuals love um, that he had a friend that was a teacher that had cat litter in the in the schools for kids that identified as furries. And this talking point just went 
the right wing went crazy with it. And here comes the libertarian. The right wing went crazy with it. They've acted like this is a reality that schools are grooming children and there's litter boxes for furries. And, and they found no schools where this is true. It, it's not true at all. It's a complete myth that Joe Rogan just spoke offhand. And now people act like there's some like national conspiracy in schools. It's just it, it, it's such a difficult time to a difficult time even to talk to people because people are so misinformed and facts are no longer facts people think facts are subjective and when you don't have facts you don't you can't find common ground people don't believe in anything so the libertarian is out and here comes ben shapiro another person is a money grifter who is made a name for himself off of this whole right-wing discourse he slams COVID-19 down Joe Rogan is looking busted open and bloodied in there I guess that Brazilian jiu-jitsu training has not helped him for this discourse Tucker Carlson just drops him backwards COVID-19 flex and libertarian gets a one count on Ben Shapiro COVID-19 lifts the libertarian up Police state gets in the way. Rogan going after COVID-19 now. COVID-19 rolls him over. And that's a two count, but he kicks out. And now we've got another buzzer. And it's the verified blue check. So the verified blue check is coming out, folks. Verified blue check. Certified Harvard-educated op-ed writer for the New York Times, Atlantic, Harper's, pretty much anywhere you see a high-profile op-ed. He's the one in there. Of course, he's telling us how important it is to be civil. The right-wing discourse, you know, it's somebody chanting at, at, at Supreme Court justice while they're having dinner is just as bad as somebody beating a congressman's husband with a hammer. According to the verified blue check and we get another buzzer and it's the do your own researcher sort of a child of this discourse child of the discourse that has happened in the internet era the do your own researcher where facts are no longer factual and subjective and doing your own research doesn't require a trip to the library it just requires a couple bong hits and watching youtube for a few hours that's all you need to. Uh, you don't need a PhD. You don't need a medical degree. You don't. You don't need to study anything intensively. You just have to watch YouTube. Pretty much is what these people think. So we've got a lot in there. Tucker Carlson, COVID nineteen, Joe Rogan, Ben Shapiro, the Do Your Own Research, who has his own podcast, Verified Blue Check, and the Libertarian. And here comes the tweet stormer. So the Do Your Own Researcher feels like he's shadow banned and nobody pays attention to him, even though he's not saying anything interesting. The tweet stormer is sort of like a liberal version of that who has outlined about a 38 to 312 tweet series that he is going to drop on you thinking he is just owning the world with his incredible analysis and a lot of times it's actually kind of redundant and boring and not all that groundbreaking but the tweet stormer is very confident in his own intellect much like do your own research and well i give the tweet stormer some credit he just had joe rogan submit so that BJJ training did not do any good at all. So Rogan is out of here. And now we got Debbie DSA. Debbie DSA, the Democratic Socialist um, activist, roller derby um, participant. She's taking her time getting in the ring. Debbie DSA, a progressive alternative to the Democratic Party somehow. But a lot of those folks are telling you how important it is to vote, even though the primary season, a lot of the big super PAC money and things goes against the progressive candidates to get them out during the primaries and then has abandoned the Democratic Party during the actual election. So we've got a cluster of people all standing over each other. And Debbie DSA just got knocked out by Tucker Carlson, it looked like. So Debbie DSA did not last long. And here comes the three percenter. Here comes the three percenter, and, and he gets a couple shots on Debbie DSA, and the three percenter is relevant. We've got a pin in there, and the Libertarian gets pinned. He is pinned by Tucker Carlson. So the three percenter is relevant because right now things are relatively calm. But January 6th showed us people can be mobilized, and we, we have a better figure at the top of the 
disinformation chain. These three percenter death squads eventually will come about. Tweet storm are going for pen on COVID-19. Might think I'm being dramatic about these three percenters, but I live out in the country and these dudes are very misinformed, heavily armed, and the death squads are here. And here comes Omega Chad. Omega Chad. The meme come to life. The Chad meme is in the discourse. Perhaps a visualization of what folks think they are. And Omega Chad is going right after that tweet stormer. Just whips them. And the do your own researcher takes out Ben Shapiro. So Ben Shapiro, that mighty might of the disinformation is gone. And the do your own researcher pinned right after that. So we've got a couple people dropped out. Let's see who's done. There's another pin, the Omega Chat on the Verify. So we got Tucker Carlson is still in there. Been in there since the beginning. COVID-19. That verified blue check is in there. Probably outlining a new op-ed in his mind. Tweet Storm are still out there. The 3 percenter Omega Chad. And here comes Elon Musk. Man, he has been all in the discourse and he will continue to be so. And the Tweet Stormer gets pinned. Elon Musk, of course, bought Twitter, forced to buy Twitter after saying he would buy Twitter, probably didn't even want to buy it, carried a sink in to say, let that sink in, fired a bunch of people, activated some release clauses that he attempted to say he fired them for cause, even though the whole reason it's set up is like you can't just fire people and say it's for cause, like that's not how it works, but... Elon Musk is going to challenge everything, he said, you know, and actually I'm kind of proud of Twitter. Like, it's hard to find somebody that wealthy but that stupid to spend that much money on Twitter. So, congratulations to Twitter, and oh my goodness, Dr. Umar is in the discourse on our Monsters of the Discourse. Dr. Umar, the Hotep online presence, uh, this realm has been pretty key in a lot of the gender related switches to conservatism that you're seeing amongst uh people of color um you know those gender roles patriarchy is sort of being affirmed by some folks like dr umar so dr umar is in the monday night rumble of the discourse going at the three percenter right now and the verified blue check is bloodied up tucker carlson it looks like in fact tucker carlson goes over the top rope and he is out tucker carlson is out I'm not sure who actually got that elimination. We have Bob, well, yeah, Bob, Bob Dabalina, my producer. We have someone in the back keeping track of that. And here comes Dr. Fauci. So we have a pair of doctors in a row, Dr. Umar and Dr. Fauci. And there's a pin. COVID-19 has been eliminated. So as soon as Dr. Fauci comes out, COVID-19 is eliminated. Strange coincidence there. Omega Chad stomping Elon Musk. There's a one count. The police state has that two by four there that Ben Shapiro brought out. And he just nails Elon Musk. I'm about to get a buzzer and have someone else come out now. And it's the mom blogger. The mom blogger is coming out. So the mom blogger. You know, it's hard to tell. Like, she used to kind of be progressive in terms of... And she's kind of flipping on the apron. I don't know what she's doing there. Used to be somewhat progressive in terms of the patriarchy and fighting white male dominance. But since the vaccine thing sort of switched into, like, weird anti-vaccine New World government conspiracies. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on with the mom blogger. You can't really, like... You know, you can't really tell who's going to fall down the wrong habit, who's going to get baptized to the wrong rabbit hole and come out of that thing thinking in a very bizarre way. And Antifa. Antifa is in this thing. So, of course, Antifa is going to be part of the discourse. The great black mass boogeyman of the right. Dr. Umar with a pin on the 3 percenter. So they kept going at it and Dr. Umar finally took him out. 3 percenter has been eliminated. And we've got a got a big cluster of people in there. Dr. Fauci just nails verified blue check. And Dr. Fauci and Dr. Umar, they are having a peer review of each other right now. Elon Musk still in there. Verified blue check has been bloodied up by somebody. I'm afraid we're going to get a lot of Elon Musk in this course now that he owns Twitter. Until that gets killed by him. And here comes the critical thinking punk. Critical thinking punk. He is out there ready to do damage. 
So we got the verified blue check. Omega chat is out there. Elon Musk and the mommy blog are going at it. Dr. Umar is still out there. Antifa, Dr. Fauci, and Critical Thinking Punk. Omega Chad going after the mommy blog. That's a pretty big size difference, but she's she's holding up well. Omega Chad just slams Antifa. Only a one count though. And now we got another buzzer. Let's see who's coming out. We're waiting to see. Omega Chad is on that apron. Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about a monster of the discourse ever since, well, probably before 2016, but definitely when that Trump presidency, when that Trump campaign was starting, Steve Bannon was integral, and, and Elon Musk just got tossed. He climbed up on that chair, and Dr. Umar just flipped him. But Steve Bannon was definitely behind the digital operations of the Trump campaign, while the Clinton campaign thought their digital operations would, would be sufficient. It was a shifting in the era and that that right-wing disinformation campaign steve bannon has been a big part of that he knows how it works folks he is he is pulling some buttons and here comes the crypto hodler the crypto hodler so with elon musk buying twitter there was a spike in crypto here this past week and the crypto hodler is proudly saying he's about to be a millionaire again after seeing his big investment fall apart and Dr. Umar and Antifa are over there. Antifa is on that apron kicking Umar from the apron. They are going at it on that apron and, and Umar try and U Antifa blocks that swing with the 2 by 4 and pulls Umar down and they are still going at it on that apron kicking each other. That's a dangerous spot to be. One of them is bound to fall. Missing jumps and Antifa gets back in but then Umar Umar tosses her back out. And we just saw the Unabomber come out as well while that was happening. The Unabomber. Probably part of my internal discourse a lot. I think of the Ship of Fools story a lot as we pretend there's a two-party differentiation going on coming up to this election. And somehow we have options while we keep sailing along to oblivion. Faster than ever, actually. Crypto Hodler. Crypto Hodler pins Dr. Umar. Did not expect that. Crypto Hodler gets an elimination in his first time in the Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse. And we got another buzzer. And it's Reply Guy. From the south end of Facebookistan. Reply Guy is back out here. And he is in that leaderboard earlier when I showed you. He's, he's been in there and he throws a chair and knocks out a mega chad. So we got the verified blue check is still in there. Omega Chad, Dr. Fauci, the mom blogger, the critical thinking punk, Steve Bannon, the crypto hodler, the Unabomber, and the reply guy. This is our Monsters of the Discourse Monday Night Rumble of Discourse Week 4 in a 7 week series. Dr. Umar has not left the ring. He's got a sledgehammer now. He's been eliminated. And we get a buzzer, and it is the Neurodivergent Envy. The Neurodivergent Envy is coming out. Big part of the online discourse in multiple forms of social media. They are making their first appearance in the Monday Night Rumble of the discourse, as far as I can remember. And Dr. Umar, what is going on back there, man? He is climbing up and down that corner turnbuckle. I don't know if this is some bizarre ceremony or what he's got going on. But he is... I'm not sure what's going on over there. Anyways, Neurodivergent NB is going after the mom blogger right now. We got a big cluster of people. I can't even see who's getting pinned, but Omega Chad got pinned by somebody in there. Bob, we're going to have to have to check backstage on who got that elimination point. And there's another one. Well, just a two count. Looky here, Long COVID. Long COVID is in the, in the discourse here. We don't even know what Long COVID means. Um, don't even know what it entails for everybody. Of course, if anything does become long COVID, people are going to blame it on the vaccine. Uh, Anti-maskers, of course, were only about not wearing masks. But then once everybody started letting them not wear masks, they started complaining about people wearing masks. And masks were stunting society somehow or hurting freedom. The, you, you can't you can't give those folks enough room. They will they, they want to just end everything. I don't even know why. I don't even know what the freedom is like. The freedom to to 
do what they want you to do or be mocked and bullied. And here comes Super Blue Check. Super Blue Check, another op-ed writer, former editor of Jezebel. Of course, she is out here telling you how important this upcoming election is. And there's a pin, only a two count. How important this upcoming election is for abortion rights. And I can't say I disagree, but it seems like every election they tell us how important it is. And I'm also a little disappointed. I didn't see this, you know, long-term blocking of abortion that the right wing has done in America, which was pretty obvious to anybody who was watching what they've done for the last 15 years. I'm not sure how voting this year is going to fix that right away. I mean, even the last time, Democrats supposedly got the majority, and then it was like, well, we don't really have it. Now we need more of a majority. Twitter communists coming out. Twitter communists, of course, a big part of this discourse. Bourgeoisie communists, very interesting thing that has happened in America. People even get rich off being communists. I don't, I do not understand that. Long COVID, long COVID pinned there by the critical thinking punk. So good job, critical thinking punk is. But then the critical thinking punk almost immediately pinned right afterwards. So I guess he used it all up fighting long COVID. He used up all his energy there. So we get our buzzer, and this is our last entrant tonight. Let's see who we got. It is the Tech Lord, ladies and gentlemen, the Tech Lord. Tech Lord is out here now. Tech Lord, of course, has a lot of influence on the discourse, the flow of information, since we primarily get it through digital means now. And there's a pin to reply guy on the crypto hodler, but he kicks out. Verified Blue Chip tried to get the Unabomber, but caught a big Tech Lord elbow. So let me reset the field here, folks. Looks like we have 11, 10 or 11 people out there. Verified Blue Check, Dr. Fauci, the mom blogger, still out there. Steve Bannon making his discourse debut, and he is bloody in there, folks. Crypto Hodler, the Unabomber, the Reply Guy, the Neurodivergent Envy, Super Blue Check, the Twitter Communist, and the Tech Lord, who right now is being held in a full Nelson by Fauci. Well, he gets out of it, and now he's punching Fauci. So it looks like we have 11 folks in here. And they will be going, well, the top four will get those bonus. Twitter communists, only a two count on the mom blogger. And there's a pin on, pins going left and right, folks. Hard to keep up. Top four will get bonus points towards our seventh week finale. And I'm having a hard time keeping track of everything here, so I'm going to kind of pan out and get a bigger picture. Reply guy kicking the Twitter communists. Always important to remember as the discourse is happening chaotically like this, the police state is right there. And it, the police state is going to be selective about who it enforces things on. Deck Lord going after the Unabomber over on one end of the field here. And there goes the Unabomber. He's over the top rope. But he fights back and he gets in. Neurodivergent MB up on that top rope. We've got pipes, cameras, a bloody Steve Bannon, ladders. Neurodivergent MB pins the crypto hodler. So the crypto hodler is gone. Eliminated another crash. And the blue check and diver Neurodivergent MB are over on that apron. That's a dangerous spot. But they both get back in. Tech Lord just wipes everybody out. He's on that verified blue check. Verified blue check is eliminated there by the Tech Lord. So we are down to nine, nine active folks. And verified blue check gets a shot on Dr. Fauci on the way out. Police state just punched the mom blogger. I'm not sure what that was about. Monsters of the Discourse, Monday Night Rumble of the Discourse, Week 4 in our 7 week Fall 2022 series. Twitter Communist on Dr. Fauci. And that's a pin. Dr. Fauci eliminated by the Twitter Communist. That leaves eight folks in there now. Eight competitors still going after it. And the mom blogger was on that chair. And Super Blue Check pushed her around. And Reply Guy pins the Tech Lord. So the last man out is eliminated with seven folks left. The Tech Lord is out of here. 
Steve Bannon has got a camera on going after the Twitter communist. Looks like the mom blogger is bloodied up now too. Tech Lord's still in there. Lady Cop fighting the Tech Lord trying to get him out. Steve Bannon rolls up the Twitter communist. Only a two count. Almost, almost elimination there. Now Bannon's going after the Unabomber. Neurodivergent Envy hits him in the back of the head. Just beating Steve Bannon with that camera. Goes for the pin. Police state slow to get over there for the count. So we have... Out of these last seven, we have four men, two women, and a non-binary. And Reply Guy comes off the top of that ladder onto our non-binary non -binary neurodivergent MB. Only a one count, though. Bannon's bloodied. Mom Blogger's bloodied. Reply Guy's holding his back. Super Blue check with a two count on the Unabomber. It's been a pretty long and tough rumble of the discourse, but we are down to our final seven. I think the only person on here, yeah, the reply guy is the only person I've seen prominently in neurodivergent MB over that top rope, and the Unabomber gives him a punch. Gives him a punch. Neurodivergent MB is eliminated. Good showing for their first time, our first our first day them causing mayhem here in the Monday night rumble of the discourse. We are down to six. Super blue check, one count on the mom blogger. Twitter communist has that sledgehammer. Mom blogger working over to Twitter communist. And kicks him over the top rope. Can he recover? No, he falls. Twitter communist eliminated by the mom blogger. Could not recover. And the Unabomber was taken out by somebody. I was watching the Twitter communist and the Unabomber's out. So we've got our final four. Our final four are going to be the Mom Blogger, Super Blue Check, the Reply Guy, and Steve Bannon. Unabomber still in there talking trash, yelling at the Super Blue Check. He gives her a few more words on his way out. Mom Blogger just backhands the Reply Guy, knocks him out. Steve Bannon is still in there. I can't believe Steve Bannon. I can't believe this is the first time we've seen Steve Bannon actually in one of these rumbles and discourses. He's really done well. Man knows how to control the discourse. There's no doubt about that. Super Blue Check, Pin and Mom Blogger, two count. Bannon beating on the Reply Guy with that sledgehammer in the corner. And again, another shot. Mom blogger pinning super blue check and she is out. So we are down to three. Three bonus points for the super blue check for finishing fourth. But Bannon, reply Bannon going for a pin on the mom blogger. Only a two count. Reply guy and Bannon lock up now. Bannon dropped onto that ladder. Mom blogger jumps on reply guy. Just a one count. Mom blogger with a beautiful smash on Reply Guy. Really holding her own in her Lululemon tire. And see, this is sort of the problem with the discourse. If I have the Reply Guy, Steve Bannon, and Mom blogger, even though she's kind of crazy about vaccine mandates and anti vax stuff, she's probably the one I agree with the most out of these three. Maybe Reply Guy on some issues. I don't know if I just ignore talking about politics and want to talk about, you know, good diners to eat on old U.S. highways. Reply Guy is definitely going to be the guy for that. Old trucks, he'll be good for that. Politics, he's just horrible about. Steve Bannon, I don't even know how to describe Steve Bannon. He wouldn't want to, and Steve Bannon gets kicked over by the reply guy. Steve Bannon is out. Just a casual, casual size 13 boot kick by reply guy eliminates Steve Bannon. So we are down to our last two. The mom blogger and the reply guy. Steve Bannon got five bonus points for finishing third. The reply guy just punches the mom blogger, and I... I don't want to stereotype, but I have a feeling it's not the first woman the reply guy has beaten on. And he just spears her. This 
might get ugly, folks. And he's going for the pin, and thankfully, man, she kicks out. I just want, I don't want, I don't want to see anything too violent. I, I hope the reply guy just kind of ends this quickly. Well, mom blogger throws him into the ladder. And he does it again. And he goes for the pin, but she kicks out right away. Backhand. And now he's stomping her in that leg. She's got a arm hold on him. They both get... Police state falls off the ladder. They both get... Black guy's been... Looks like he's been busted open. And, and Mom Logger with a power slam. Probably should have went for the pit. Now, well, she finally does. And there's a two count and a three count. The Mom Logger with that power slam on the reply guy. Took a minute to go for the cover, but did. And she got the win. The Mom Logger with that win can't believe this folks wow let's look at this replay she gets the reply guy up he'd already been bloodied and then she dropped him right on his head took a second to get the cover but she does follow up with the cover and she gets the win the mom blogger is our winner tonight let's look at our results from the night and see the mom blogger at the top with 13 points eliminated three people plus 10 bonus points wow reply guy with nine steve bannon with six in his first showing tucker carlson and super blue check with four dr umar got three in his debut and a bunch of other people with one each in our Standings after four events. Big John Fetterman at the top with 17. Josh Hawley and Reply Guy up there in second now. Biden, Trump, the mom blogger, Ted Cruz, Dr. Oz. You can see the rest of the folks near the leaderboard. Steve Bannon cracking the leaderboard down there with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. So once again, folks, this is Monday Night Rumble at a Discourse. This is sponsored by my Southern Gothic Futurist Patreon. You can always support that directly through Patreon. You can Venmo, cash at me money, RavenMac23 if you got this far and really give a damn. Uh, but seriously, consider supporting that Patreon. I got a few things going on there. This was week four of our seven-week series. We have two more weeks next week, the night before Election Day, and then we'll have the Monday after Election Day, and then that seventh week, top 27 point getters over our six weeks will come out in reverse order. We will crown a Monday Night Rumble. We'll crown a Fall 2022 champion of the discourse. Um, I appreciate you being here with me again, folks. Hope you have a good Halloween evening, good week this week. Um, welcome in November tomorrow morning. I appreciate you tuning in. I'll see you next week. Salam.